Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. This video is for my cousin Don, who got math curious today about this question. How many different flavors are needed to make 100 unique two scoop ice cream cone combos? Well, if we're talking about vanilla and chocolate being the same as chocolate on vanilla, then we're talking about a combination where the order doesn't matter. So they're, they're different. Uh, they're, they're not different. If we get that two vanilla, if we get a vanilla and a chocolate or a chocolate and a vanilla, those are the same. So we're making that assumption with this question. And um, of course, you can use the combination button on your calculator to try to help figure this out. But we have the answer and not the numbers that go into that. Makes it a little tricky. What I would say is we can just do a little set up a table and look for a pattern. And then we probably have our answer pretty quickly. So let's say that I had zero flavors of ice cream. Uh, then... How many combos could I have? None. If I had one flavor of ice cream, how many two scoop ice creams could I have? None. If I have two, I can have one. I can. I only have two flavors. There's only one ice cream cone that could be made. What if I had three? Well, if I had three, let's call them one, two, and three. I could say one and two, or I could say one and three, or I could say two and three. Those are the three ways I could make an ice cream cone with three. So that was three different ways. I don't really see a pattern here that's going to help me, so I'm going to go on to four. What if I had four? If I had one, two, three, and four, I could do one and two, one and three, one and four, two and three, two and four, or three and four. That's one, two, three, four, five, diff six different ways that I could do that. Okay, let's say that I had five. Well, if I had five, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe you start to see something there. Maybe you don't. If I had five, then I could do one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, two and three, two and four, two and five, three and four, three and five, or four and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm up to ten. What if I had six? Okay. I'm going to stop right there because I see a pattern and maybe you do or maybe you don't. It doesn't matter when we don't have enough ice cream. Only here where I'm starting where I have enough ice cream. Okay, so I had one and then I went to two and then I went to six and then I went to ten. What's the difference between these two? Two. What's the difference between these two? Three. What's the difference between these two? Four. So my guess is I must have 15 different ways because I, I'm adding one more number to this the difference every time I go up. If that's true, then I would see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 should have 16 combinations. So let's see. I mean 15. So we have 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 2 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, 3 and 5, 3 and 6, four and five, four and six, and five and six. I put those up in rows of five so it'd be easy for me to count them. Yes, there's 15. I'm gonna believe that this pattern holds. That means that if I go to seven, I'm going to add, I just added five, so the next thing I would be adding is six, and that would be 21. And if I went to eight, I would be adding seven, and that would be 28. And if I went to nine, is this the most efficient way? There's other ways. I just wanted to show you like how I might do it if I was having students just kind of guess and check. Um, I'm going to add 8 to that, which is 36. For 10, I'm going to add 9 to that, which is 45. For 11, I'm going to add 10 to that, and I get 55. I'm getting close, closer to 100 pretty rapidly now because now I'm going to add 11. I'm always adding it looks like one less than the number I'm having so when I have 12 I'm going to add 11. When I had 11 I had 10. You can see all the patterns that start to emerge which is kind of cool and then I have 13 I'm going to add 12. That's going to give me 78. Still need more flavors to get to 100 choices then I'm going to add say I have 14 I'm going to add 13 and then that gives me 91 is that right? Yes. My 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 addition didn't fail me here. And if I have 15, I would add 14 flavors. I mean, I would add 14 new combinations, and that would give me 105. So I could never get exactly 100 out of that, 
but if I had 15 different flavors, I could get at least 100. I could actually get 105 out of that. All right, have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time.